Yo, what up my dudes? Today's video, we are going over the Jade Rabbit Scout Rifle. Now, the Jade Rabbit is a 150 Scout Rifle round per minute. Uh, all that means is that it shoots a little slower, but it hits like a freaking truck, which is really good. Not in this current meta, mind you. <laughs> but I had a request to do this video, so um, I went ahead and, uh, and, and worked a few things out. Now... Um, in this video, what you're going to see, the way that you play scout rifles, this is not something I've been doing lately, so it took me a bit to get back into the rhythm of it. Scout rifles are designed to hold down a lane against things like snipers and against people that are rushing into that lane. I found that there are two options. Option number one, you can use a sidearm. Now, if you use a sidearm, you're going to need auto fire, rapid fire to be turned on. Shoddy, it's optional. There's different recoil patterns for both. But with your sidearm, uh, scout rifle combination, you want to use the sidearm as your indicator for what you should be using for the anti-recoil, not the scout rifle. Because you can always tap the trigger. You don't have to fire this one fully automatic. You can use it that way, but you don't have to use it that way. But using the sidearm fully automatic is going to be more appropriate to get those shotgun rushes. So that is my recommendation. Take a look at both options. It's at, uh, you know, second 50 in the video. <laughs> now, as I was saying before, you're going to see me hold down a couple of lanes. I got this spot open to the left and I got them off to the right. These guys, the minute they realized that I was holding lanes with the scout rifle, they stopped rushing entirely. <laughs> so I scared them off pretty quick. But, um, you know, you can't get people to not use their, their hand cannon shotguns, because that is the meta. So it's kind of hard to play a game, you know, with a scout rifle holding down a lane, because nobody will challenge that lane. Not even a little bit, if you have something like a scout rifle. So you'll see the minute I moved in, I got uh, picked into with the last word, and now we have trouble. Last word shotgun. Oh, what the heck, dude? <laughs> so, but yeah, scout rifle has been really fun to try. Um, this is really good for pub play. If you're amazing in comp, maybe you can make this work, but I haven't tried. I just, I didn't see the need for it. So, what I did, I ended up using the, uh, the sidearm to kind of clear out a room, as you can see here. At least assisting my teammates clearing out a room. And then I held an area, you know, in a lane spot, which I knew that they were going to be coming to. You'll see, um, you know, lane spot number one over there. I've got one off to my left a little bit, and then there's one behind me. So this might not be the best position to hold, but I had a lot of fun doing it anyway, because I was hoping somebody would freaking challenge me. <laughs> but yeah, I ended up using my sidearm a lot more than I wanted to. But remember, the Scout Rifles are not designed to be dueling weapons. They are more designed to be a pick and move and then rotate. And you want to kind of influence and push them with your gameplay, with your bullets, to get them to move in a certain part of the map or to hold them down so that they cannot take over a certain part of the map without getting peppered by you. And that's the goal of using this. So, yeah, you're going to see um, a couple of really cool shots. I got some good picks with it, but that's only when people were playing a little bit, I call it snobby. You know, they were getting so... I think egotistical about what they were doing, but yeah, they weren't uh, respecting the scout rifle range, and yeah, that's it. That's really it. That's all I can say about it. Take a look at the options. You got option one, you got option two. Uh, option two goes over how to use it with a shotgun. Um, everyone's using Fell Winter. That is the best option that we have, so with a scout rifle, you can pepper them on their way in, quick draw your Fell Winters lie, and catch somebody if they get too close to you with a finishing shot. Or, um, you know, hang out to an area, maybe shoot down, you know, from above, and move them off with your shoddy as you need to. That's all I can say about Don't it, man. Scout rifles Don't in this see. meta are rough. You have to be very patient. I think this would work better for somebody that doesn't have a lot of gameplay map experience, I guess. A lot of um, map design awareness, you know, like if you don't necessarily know how to push into these areas with your teammates it might be good to support them from a distance and maybe fall back and hold lane or, or hold cover on a on a flag so that's my opinion on it the rest of the gameplay video you'll see me you know move into a couple of different areas it's a good game i ended up going a, a 9.0 something like that so you know the goal of a scout is to stay alive and pick and pepper the other team so that they can't go into a close range engagement without having their life kind of halved 
And this thing does hit like a truck as long as you're getting headshots. So, there you go. Hopefully you enjoyed the gameplay video. Let me know what you guys think. Um, if you are using scout rifles, let me know which ones you are using. I have symmetry gameplay, and you can play more aggressively with that scout rifle. That seems a lot more fun. There's more options to using that one. So I'm going to post that one up next. That's it. Have a good one. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate all you guys. Have a good day. Seen enough. I'm calling this one. A well fought victory. Impressive. You could give the Red Jacks a lesson in territory control.